welcome to another episode of Bible Stories with Rosie. Yeah. My name is Isabella Jane. Thank you so much for joining us. We love having you here, don't we? Yes, we do. So, Della, what's the story for this week? Well, this week we're looking in the book of Joshua, and I'm going to set the scene. Picture this. I'm picturing it. And I can't see anything. Well, that's because I haven't told you what to picture. Oh. Okay, go on. 40,000 soldiers marching towards Jericho, which is surrounded by a four meter high wall. And these 40,000 soldiers, led by Joshua, are ready for war. This is known as the Fall of Jericho. This sounds like a horrible story with war. I don't want to know about all the fights and the ugliness and the sadness and, 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 and the death and the war. That's not nice. Well, let's get to what the story is really about then, shall we? Okay, but I don't want a war. I think the only war we're going to see is a wall. I don't get it. Well, I'm going to explain it. Oh. So Rosie, here we are in the land of Canaan and Jericho was a big city in Canaan inhabited by the Canaanites. Okay, and, and, and these soldiers, who were they? Well, the soldiers were the Israelites. Then why were they, they marching on Jericho? Well, this was actually part of the promised land. The promised land from God for the Israelites? Yeah. But, but the Canaanites were there, so the Israelites couldn't live there. Well, that's why we've got all of our soldiers, led by our main character, Joshua. So who's this Joshua guy? Well, he became the new leader of the Israelites after Moses had died. Okay. So, so now he's, he's now just going to lead them into war? Now I nudge the third Moses. He was far better. Well, Rosie, Joshua was also an amazing man of God. And you'd be surprised at what he told his soldiers when it was time for the battle. What did he tell them? To the priests. He said, take up the Ark of the Covenant and let seven priests carrying seven trumpets of ram's horns march before the Ark of the Lord. Okay. And to the people with armor, they said, surround the city and let those who are armed march before the Ark of the Lord. Okay, so, so then they were going to march. What's interesting about that? They weren't going to fight. What? Oh, then what? What's the story about then? For six days, they were to march around the city of Jericho blowing horns and not saying a word. Well, this, this sounds like a pathetic army. I mean, let's go in a war by walking. How did this help the Israelites get to the promised land? On the seventh day, they were meant to walk around the wall of Jericho then seven times and shout for joy. Seriously, let's go win a war and let's walk and shout for joy. Exactly the point, Rosie. You know, have you heard of any wars and the sorrow and the sadness and the death and, and all of those horrible things and the fighting? Whereas this war was walking around a wall and shouting for joy. Did it work? Well, on that seventh day, after they'd walked around the city seven times and they shouted for joy, the walls came tumbling down. So the walls just came tumbling down and no one either touched them? Exactly. You see, Rosie, this shows that God doesn't need an army of 40,000 to go and physically break down a wall. 
But if we obey him, we can see how powerful he is. Wow, so he is stronger than anything in the world. That's right, he really is. 